Hello all, today we will talk about how to combine lines of text in Unreal Engine 5's Blueprint. Let's jump in. I'll start by creating a new Blueprint. I'll right click in my content drawer, go up to Blueprint class, create a new Blueprint of type actor. I'll call this BP underscore append text groups. I'll open it up and I will do this in my construction graph. I'll first create a series of variables that we'll use to combine. I will, on the panel down here, create the following. The first will be called name, and I'll change this up to type string. I'll use control D to duplicate this. I will call this age. I will do control D again, call this parent, one name and duplicate that one more time and call this parent two name. I'll actually go up to the top and do this one more time and I will control D and I'll say salutation or greeting. Let's change age to a type of integer. And then in our details panel at the top, I will add a text render component. Let's compile and save. Let's first make all of our variables vis visible to the outside. And I will add a default value to our name. So I'm going to copy this over here with control C. I'm going to paste that into all of my string variables. And I will say my default age is five. Uh, so now if we bring this out into the environment, we can see already that we have our text component and we should, once we save this, we will have all of our variables available for us to change. So back in my blueprint, what I'm going to do is in my text component, I'll actually just center these out. So I'm going to change the horizontal and the vertical alignment to center. And in my construction script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off my text render and I'm going to say set text. I'll connect the, this execution pin to here. I'm going to right click here and I will say append string and so it'll just say append. I will drag this into where it says value and it'll convert this string into a text. And then here is where we will plug in our variables. The format we will use will be, we'll start with a sal salutation. We will state our name. We will state our age. And then we will say, my parents' names are one and two. I'm actually going to right click these and I'm going to say alignment, align right, just to even them out a little bit. And so let's start, we'll say salutation. So I'll drag this into here and we're excited. So we're going to use an exclamation point and I'm actually going to add a space after the exclamation point. So it will say something like hello and then it will say my name is space and we're going to just include the spaces here instead of adding an extra pin and then putting a space here. So it'll say, my name is space. So you can see the space at the end there. Name, add a pin. I am space at the end. And I'll actually do a space at the beginning as well. I am, I'll drag age into here and I'll convert that to a string. So it'll say, I am right now five, add a pin space, years, old, period, space, and I'll say my parents' names are space, parent one name, I'll try to add a pen, parent one name, space and space, parent two name, period. 
So now it will combine all this information, which right now all is default, but we'll change that in the viewport. And it will set these values on our text when we construct. So I'll save this. I'm going to compile and save and go to my viewport. So now we can see, um, you know, we'll put what we'll do actually is I'm going to throw our sort of a mannequin mesh under this. So we can imagine, you know, this is a person providing us information. This could be in the form of UI or, you know, a text if we wanted, but probably a UI. So over here, um, we'll start with the salutation. I'm going to say, hello there. And it'll say my name. And so if we let go, it's going to construct that and you'll see this value change here. So I'm going to say my name is Steve. I am 25 years old. My parents' names are Bob and Tina. And so now we can see this construct with this information. So if I were to duplicate this, because this is instance specific with this text that we've, uh, we've added, I could say, I could change all the information I've provided. I could say, howdy, my name is Bill. I am 50 years old. My parents' names are Rick and Jill. And so you can see this in action. That is how the append string node can be used to combine pieces of text in your blueprint. Thanks for watching.